Lions TV, this is the Den Daily bringing you all the latest gossip, views and transfer news from in and around the Den. I have woken up on a Sunday morning very early to bring you this video because I personally woke up to the news. I actually give you one of them. Oh, what's going on here? That the news has broken on Twitter from Sun journalist Alan Nixon. Reluctant Nico on Twitter. There's his feed. He's got over 100,000 followers. So he's definitely a reliable source. That Jed Wallace is in talks to sign on a free transfer for West Bromwich Albion. <laughs> I did not see that one coming. It's, um, it sort of underwhelmed me a little bit. I'm just a little bit, oh, all right then. Look, Jeb Wallace has been fantastic for us. I don't think any of us begrudge him leaving the club. But he has stated that he wants to play in the Premier League. He is now the ripe old age of 28. And he said he wanted to do that a meal. That hasn't happened. Also, contract negotiations broke down. We couldn't get close to what he wanted in terms of wages. I think now, personally, even if we had have done that, I don't think he would have stayed. I think he was maybe using that as a little excuse to get out of the door. But look, as I said, he is, in my, my mind, a mill legend. He's been fantastic for the club. Outrageously talented moments at times. Frustrating at others. But I've said this as well. No disrespect to our club. I think in a better team, he'll be a better player because I think he feels the pressure. Playing for us, I feel he thinks that every time he gets the ball, he has to do something outrageous. And I think in a better team, he will do that because there'll be less responsibility, if you like, to take the reins. However, will he like that? He'll be, you know, if he moves on elsewhere, he won't be a big fish in so-called, to speak, a small pond. He'll just be one of the faces in the crowd. And I don't know if he's got a bit of an ego. I don't know him. But I'm sure if you're that talented, you're going to have a bit about you. You're going to have a little bit of swag. So let's look at the potential club he's going to, West Bromwich Albion. I've seen it already in some of my comments on the social media, and I'm sure that some of you are saying it at the screen, if not putting it in the comments below here. Why is he going to a worse team? It's West Bromwich Albion. They finished below us in the division. Of course, West Brom did finish 10th in the championship, one place behind us this season. Historically, a big club, yes, no disrespect to West Brom fans, but you're only as good as your last season, and they did finish below us in the division. However, they have won the league back in 1930, I think, or the Cup. They've won leagues as well before TVs were even a thing. But look, a bigger club than us, of course they are on paper. Let's have it right. I'm talking structure-wise. They've been in the Premier League for a long time. They've come down. They was looking to bounce back at the first time of asking. That hasn't happened due to an absolute shit show from Valerian Ishmael. And now Steve Bruce is trying to guide them back in the right direction at the second time of asking. And here's the big spanner to throw into the works. They've got a Chinese billionaire owner. I'm not sure if he's new to it, how long he's been on board, but I've done a bit of research this morning. So, look, we're Millwall. We're the biggest small club in the world. And our fan base is, is superb. We know that. However... You've got to look at the structure of the club of West Brom. They're going to go back eventually. They're a little bit of a Norwich or a Fulham, aren't they? They sort of bounce between the two. Um, predominantly staying in the, in the uh, Premier League for as long as I can remember. But they do like to pay the occasional visit to the Championship. And they're desperate to get back, as I said, at the second time of asking. Under Steve Bruce, it's just underwhelmed me a bit, really, if I'm honest. I don't begrudge Jed Leaven at all. I know none of us do, or the majority of us. But I just, you know, he said he, he wanted to play in the Premier League with Mill and that hasn't happened. So go and do it to someone else. I, I don't think personally, if I'm honest, he's good enough to move directly to the Premier League. But I thought he might go with, a, you know, a team going up this, this season. I thought he might have held out for Forest, see how they got on. And it couldn't, I couldn't have knocked that because, you know, again, Forest historically, a very big club. But as they know more than anyone, the struggles to get out of this division are real. And West Brom could be facing that next season, which means, well, we definitely will be seeing Jed next season if he does come back to the den as a West Brom player. But look, if he had gone to Besiktas, I'd have gone, do you know what, fair enough. I would have followed his career with interest after that. I maybe would have even gone and watched a game in, in Turkey. Who knows? But to, just to go to West Brom, it's a little bit, oh, all right, you might as well just stay with us, really, and, and have one last push. Maybe that shows, in a way, the lack of ambition at our club. I don't know, because Rowett said it now, and I agree, that we're at a level where it needs to be pushed to the next level. I was actually speaking to my man about this last night. Um... Rao is saying the right things to me. You know, we need a little bit more now. Otherwise, I've, I've said this in videos previously, very recently, that we're at this level and I don't think we can progress. John Berrelson's been a fantastic chairman and he understandably doesn't want to sell the club because he, he puts money in every year to keep us afloat. But if we're going to progress to that next level now, I do really feel we need Husky money and there may need to be a change upstairs. But look, I'm getting ahead of myself. The news... 
coming out today from SE16 is that Jeb Wallace is in talks to sign for Championship Club West Bromwich Albion on a free transfer. So that's your lot for the Den Daily today. Hopefully, well, I can't do any more videos. I'm just about to take the kids out for a little bit of gold and a little bit of wimpy. Enjoy your Sunday. Get out and enjoy the sunshine. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Oh, Phil Barber, 8pm tonight, Lions Lounge. Bosh. Come on, you Lions.